In this chapter, we will now explain the final steps required for building a bamboo water storage tank. However, before showing you each construction step in detail, we will firstly explain the reasons for choosing the tank design we have. Given we are storing up to 5,000 litres of water with our design, this body of water can exert a great outward pressure on our tank, also known as hoop stress. Without proper reinforcement, this hoop stress can lead to tank failure. To understand how our design counters hoop stress, we now hear again from Ben Irvin, our project engineer. Uh, the main thing that we considered for this tank was the hoop stress. So in order to counter uh, this pressure, we created strips of bamboo that continue around the perimeter of the tank. And we also reinforced that with four strips of uh, metal bands that also continues circumferentially around the tank. The strips we used were just inch thick steel bands. To make bamboo strips used for reinforcement, you can follow the process shown in this video clip. Firstly, we split bamboo combs using a metal blade splitter. As the strips must be very flexible for reinforcement, we further split the strips down to a uniform thickness of one centimeter. Finally, we remove interior nodes and shave the strips down. If your bamboos do not lend themselves to being finely split, soaking strips in water is another way to increase their flexibility. In addition to acting as reinforcing hoops, bamboo strips prepared in this way can also be cut to size for use as cross bracing on the inside and outside of the tank. After preparing all flattened bamboo and bamboo strips, you also need to coat the bamboo with bitumen and sand. Bitumen and sand coating is added to create a surface for the cement plaster to bond to. The coating process is shown here for a smaller 200 litre capacity bamboo tank built in Nepal. <laughs> Once our bamboo materials are fully prepared, the first step in construction for a larger 5,000 litre capacity tank is to evenly space our metal reinforcement hoops against temporary bamboo posts, which are fixed to the ground. The posts and the metal hoops form the frame on which the rest of the tank is built. Therefore, it is essential that the hoops are level and plumb during construction. Once our frame is in place, we can begin to add our flattened bamboo boards, which are sandwiched between the metal hoops and six circular bamboo strips, using binding wire to tighten them firmly. Bamboo strips are added both above and below the metal hoops on the outside and inside of the tank. These strips are also tightened to each other by binding wire. No, no, I'm talking. No, once the wall is finished, the bamboo strips on the inside of the tank should be nailed and bolted to the wall to help fix the metal hoops in place. This creates an independent structure, allowing us to remove our supporting bamboo posts. Construction of the bamboo roof again uses bamboo strips, which should have a uniform cross-section from one end to the other. Before you start, be sure to measure the length and number of strips you need, depending on the size of the tank. It should be noted that strips on the top of the dome grid will be slightly larger than strips on the underside, while the square profile of the bamboo strips meeting the wall of the tank will also shorten the required length of the final strips. The process starts by finding the middle of the tank and placing the two center strip pieces of the dome grid perpendicular to each other. These pieces are attached to the tank, ideally by drill or binding wire. The top of the dome, where these two pieces meet, should be 30 centimeters above the level of the tank, which is optimal for load distribution. Once this is done, you should then add a further six strips covering half of the dome area. If your strips just reach the wall, this will indicate that your measurements are accurate. All pieces should be attached to the wall and each other using binding wire. Next, all the strips on the underlying surface of the dome roof should be added. 
Afterwards, when the top layer of bamboo strips are finely added, your end dome roof should consist of a grid with even spacing of 15 centimeters. To allow for future maintenance, you should then cut an entrance hole in the roof. The hole should be a minimum width 56 centimeters. We also recommend covering the hole with a rust resistant metal lid, which has a depth of at least one inch to allow for final cement plastering. Finally, if you are using your tank as a rainwater collector in a rainwater harvesting system, you should also prepare two further holes, one for rainwater inlet and another to allow for outflow of overflowing water. Once your bamboo frame is ready, all that is left to do is plaster the tank with cement. Firstly, regardless of the size of your tank, the bottom edge of the tank is plastered with any gap between the tank and the foundation filled with concrete. Remember, you should apply a thicker layer of concrete around the bottom of the tank as this will carry the maximum hoop stress when loaded. After this, you must remember to splash the exterior tank wall with a mixture of water and pure concrete before adding a first scratch coat of plaster. Once the scratch coat is completed, you must wait one day and then you can add a final exterior coat. One day after the exterior coat is finished, we repeat exactly the same process for the inside walls and base of the tank. For the base of the tank, you must remember to keep a bowl depression to allow for a complete flush with the cement exactly meeting the mouth of the flush pipe. The access port for the plumbing should also be plastered before adding a slab of concrete a few inches above the ground on which the access port is placed. In the next stage, we can then plaster the roof of the tank using just one coat. Special care should be taken with this section as gravity is working against you. If needs be, Take a day each for the exterior and interior coating to allow time for the concrete to set. Finally, using a brush, remember to apply a cement and water layer to the entire inside of the tank. This helps to protect the concrete against moisture penetration. At this point, it's time to say congratulations. You have now completed construction of your tank and all that remains to do is give it a nice exterior coating of weather resistant paint.